They're the bad-tempered dudes of the big screen. Since when? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 grumpy movie characters. What, you shat me out of your womb? You're my fucking mom now? For this list, we're taking a look at those characters in film whose cranky natures made them memorable or were a significant addition to the story. Ooh. <laughs> Number 10, Reuben J. Rooster Cogburn, True Grit. We ain't got no lemonade, neither. This eye patch wearing bounty hunter is as ruthless as they come. I shot him. When the old man raised the axe, I shot him. Reluctantly accepting an offer from a 14-year-old girl to track and murder her father's killer. You're no bigger than a corn nubbin. This deputy U.S. Marshal delivers Old West justice with the gruff persona of the Angel of Death himself. Oh, if it ain't loading cock, then don't shoot. With John Wayne portraying the one-eyed man of the law in the original 1969 Western. I can't go up against Ned Pepper's gang and try and take care of a baby all at the same time. Jeff Bridges pulls off the character with both a callous demeanor and a sense of morality, helping make this film a box office hit and earning it multiple Oscar nods. We have miles yet. Come on, you! Number nine, Willie T. Stokes, Bad Santa. Here, let's watch you disappear. This holiday grouch gives an unorthodox portrayal of jolly old Saint Nick in this comedy classic. Is that it? Yeah, that's the last one. Thank the f Christ. Boozed up, sexually perverted, and cantankerous as hell. You might want to think twice before sitting on the lap of this depraved, red suit wearing degenerate. I piss myself. A thief by trade who uses the Christmas season as a way to rob shopping malls blind. Things take a turn for the cranky when he's forced to live with a child who believes he truly is Santa Claus himself. It's because he was a mean, drunk son of a bitch. Number eight, Mickey Goldmill, Rocky. Hey, man. Shut up! This grumpy gym owner and trainer became the coach that led Rocky Balboa to success in the boxing ring. Never mind my problem. What's your problem? A former boxer with an eye for leading his star student to championship status. You know what? I had my nose blasted 17 times. Mickey's strong personality and take no crap attitude became an iconic portrayal of tough love that carried this sports franchise through multiple sequels. Like the Bible says. He ain't gonna get a second chance. Sporting his signature beanie, intense and harsh criticisms, and a gravelly voice, this guy is one manager you don't want to disappoint. Get out of here! Don't you ever interrupt me while I'm conducting business. Move your little chicken ass. Number seven, Henry F. Potter, It's a Wonderful Life. George, I am an old man. Most people hate me, but I don't like them either, so that makes it all even. As the antagonist of this popular holiday classic, Mr. Potter is as sinister as they come. If I were you, Mr. Potter... Oh, you are not me. When the film's main character, George, is visited by a guardian angel who shows him a world in which he has never been born, he realizes that this grumpy loan board member has aspirations of turning his town into a sleazy and morally bankrupt paradise of vice. You misplaced $8,000. With a dismissive attitude, intimidating demeanor, and lust for power and control, this short-tempered villain is one person we'd never want to ask for a loan. Happy New Year to you! In jail! Number 6. Max Goldman and John Gustafson Jr., Grumpy Old Men. Morning, dickhead. Hello, moron. As childhood friends, these longtime rivals had a falling out in their youth over a girl, and never seemed to repair their longtime grudge in their later years. Enjoy your shower, smartass. Pulling practical jokes on each other and hurling insults left and right, things really heat up when a sexy new neighbor lands in town and rekindles their competitive edge. Run, cut. These old timers show us all the hilarity and pain of friendship and how, despite past differences, and no matter how grumpy you may be, you can always count on your friends when you need a little help. Are you dead? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. But I don't want to die looking at your ugly face. Number five, Carl Fredrickson, Up. <laughs> this grump is on a mission to fulfill the promise he and his late wife made to visit a remote South American location. So long, boys! I'll send you a postcard from Paradise Falls. 
armed with a flying house, a child stowaway, and a talking dog. This geriatric adventurer gets more than he bargained for as he attempts to get to his destination with his sanity in one piece. Can we keep him, please, please, please? No. But it's a talking dog! It's just a weird trick or something. But despite his outwardly bad-tempered countenance, this Pixar flick wouldn't be a classic without him. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Number four, George Wilson, Dennis the Menace. The boy cannot come over here unless he behaves himself. This iconic grumpy neighbor is not too happy with the antics of Dennis, the mischievous child who lives next door. Don't you ever come back! You hear me? After being called in to babysit the young prankster, Mr. Wilson is far from impressed with the little lads clowning around. And can you blame him? You're a pest, a menace, a selfish, spoiled little boy, and I have no use for you. Despite being subjected to these tricks, Mr. Wilson does ultimately realize that while he may be a naughty child, he's still good to have around when a burglar steals some valuables from his house. Guess what? What? I got your gold back. <laughs> Number three, Grumpy, Snow White, and the Seven Dwarfs. Oh, you must be grumpy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This guy's name says it all. The short-statured and short-tempered dude is the voice of reason in a household of roommates with more upbeat personalities. <laughs> Women. When an exiled princess who is just too nice to be true breaks into their house seeking refuge, his grumpiness ascends to an even higher level. Now I'm warning you, don't let nobody or nothing in the house. Let's face it, you'd be pretty grumpy too if you had to live with this household 24-7. Luckily, he's not always about the grump. Bye, Grumpy. Number two, Walt Kowalski, Gran Torino. Get off my lawn. This Korean War veteran is not having any of the gang violence that is prevalent in his neighborhood. I didn't save anybody. I just, I kept a bunch of jabbering gooks off of my lawn. Well, you're That's a hero all. to the neighborhood. After befriending a young boy who attempts to steal his car as a gang initiation. Yeah, I blow a hole in your face and then I go in the house. I sleep like a baby. Walt learns the value of devotion to family, eventually going to great lengths to protect those who have welcomed him into their lives. That's foolish. That's the exact reaction they're waiting for. This is one example of how grumpiness can harbor a softer core and show a community that loyalty can set an example we can all aspire to. Yeah, some scared little gook just like you. I shot him right in the face with that rifle you were holding in there a while ago. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Never, never interrupt me. I crap bigger than you. Get in here! Hey, oh, okay. No bullshit. You want to kill yourself? Oh, for Christ. Shut up! Yes or no? You want to die? Yes or no? There'll be no questions about me, my family, or why there was only one book. You don't annoy me. I'm not happy when I'm annoyed. Number one, Ebenezer Scrooge, A Christmas Carol. Humbug! This guy is the ultimate grump any time of year. Stop! Back away! A cold-hearted businessman who's lost touch with his emotional side. It takes the miracle of three ghosts and a ton of personal reflection to soften the soul of this miser and finally lead him to his redemption. If I could work my will, every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled in his own pudding. Portrayed by Jim Carrey in the 2009 version and Reginald Owen in the 1938 adaptation, the catchphrase of this ill-tempered man has become infamous to grumpy folks everywhere. A Merry Christmas to you, Uncle. God save you. I'm bound. He's even grumpy in animated form. I don't make merry myself at Christmas, and I can't afford to make idle people merry. Bah humbug. Humbug, I tell you. Humbug! Do you agree with our list? Which grumpy characters do you like to watch on the big screen? I'm too old for this shit. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Okay, then.